this is Carlo G, your local friendly level 1 judge, back again for another episode of Judge Call. For today's episode, join us as we go into another adventure into the fantasy plane of Eldraine for the newest set, Wilds of Eldraine. For today's episode, we will be looking at Celebration, Bargain, a new kind of aura called Rolls, and of course, the returning mechanic, Adventure. From a scary monster to a young hero or to a guy who's just down in his luck, everybody on Eldraine has a role to play. Rolls are colorless enchantment tokens. Each one has the aura and role subtypes and the enchant creature ability. If a permanent has more than one role attached to it controlled by the same player, each of those roles, except the one with the most recent timestamp, is put into its owner's graveyard. In other words, each creature you control should have only one role attached to it that you control. Currently, there are only six roles found in the main set and one from the commander set. These are the seven roles that we will look at one at a time. The monster role. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one and trample. The Sorcerer role. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one and has the ability whenever this creature attacks, scry one. The Royal role. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one and ward one. Young Hero role. Whenever this creature attacks, if its toughness is three or less, put a plus one plus one counter on it. The Cursed role. Enchanted creature has base power and toughness one one. The Wicked role. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one, and when this aura is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, each opponent loses one life. And for the virtuous roll only found in the commander set, enchanted creature gets plus one plus one for each enchantment you control. Even if Eldraine is battling the wicked slumber, it doesn't stop anybody from having a good time once in a while. Here is celebration. Celebrate. Celebration is an ability word that rewards you whenever two or more non-land permanents enter the battlefield under your control in a single turn. Celebration cards work differently. Some may be static abilities and some may be triggered abilities. As we can see with Ash for a triggered ability and Godric as a static ability. Some celebration abilities trigger in specific parts of the turn. They will check how many permanents enter the battlefield on that point. Celebration only cares if two or more non-land permanents entered in a turn. It is either yes or no. There won't be any additional value if more permanents enter the field during a turn. There are many deals to be dealt on Eldrain. Spells and creatures become stronger once you strike a bargain. Bargain Bargain is a static ability that functions while the spell with Bargain is on the stack. Bargain means, as you cast this spell, you may sacrifice an artifact, enchantment, or token. Bargain presents an optional additional cost. A spell cast with additional cost is considered bargained. You may only sacrifice one artifact, enchantment, or token to pay for a spell's bargain cost. If you copy a bargain spell, the copy will also be bargained. Tired of just sitting all day in a tavern drinking the days away? Pack your bags and prepare for an adventure. The returning mechanic for Wilds of Train. Adventure is a returning mechanic from the original Eldraine set. Adventure cards are permanent cards with adventure spells built into the left of their text box. When casting, you can choose to cast the permanent side or the adventure side. When you cast the adventure side, it goes into exile as part of the resolution. You can then cast the permanent side later. An adventure card is a permanent card in every zone except the stack. When casting an adventure card, all of the spell's characteristics are the characteristics of that spell. If the adventure is countered or fizzles, place it into the graveyard. Interesting interaction of note. Normally, adventure cards in any other zone other than the stack are considered permanent cards. But, Liar checks the card type of the card when they are cast, 
not while it's on the graveyard. So Liar sees all of the adventure spells. Once you cast the flashback adventure, you can also exile it as part of the resolution of adventure and cast a permanent side later. This only works with continuous effects such as Kes Dissident Mage and Melek is at Paragon. The relevant ruling is CR 601.3. So those are the mechanics for Wilds of Drain. I hope you learned something and if you have any rules, questions, or any interactions at all, put them down in the comment section below. Also, watch out for our next episode as we sail the high seas as we return to the lost caverns of Ixalan. This has been your level 1 judge, Carlo G, saying bye. Bye!